don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. This guy's name is Overbite. He's my favorite little horsey. Giddy up! Here we have Overbite in his robot mode. And I've got his uh, thing here, his little tail. Uh, I've pulled it off because he looks so much cleaner with it like this. If you notice. Um, yeah, I want to go ahead and zoom in here so we can take a look at his head sculpt too. Oh, a little bit uh, too far there. All right. Here, brother, look up. It kind of reminds me of a Cheetor face. I I'm telling you, can't you see these as, as a Beast Wars thing? Uh, I, I digress. Coming down, you got a little translucent there. More translucent. Yeah, uh, I think he's fine. I mean, he definitely goes with the set, which is what I imagine you would hope for if you were buying this. And so let's uh, get him out of robot mode here and put him into beast mode and take a look at him. Here we have Overbite in his beast mode. And as you can see, he's he suffers from the same thing in beast mode that he does in robot mode. And that is he's just so damn dark under these harsh lights. He looks really good, but and you can really see some of the detail that comes out and the translucence. But if he wasn't in these really, oops, if he wasn't in these really harsh lights, you'd have a, a difficult time with him, or at least I sure do. Hmm. Yeah, he's he's. I like the figures, and I've always liked the Seacons. And I really like these Noir things. I just wish that it wasn't quite as lack of detailed. Is that the right word? I don't know. So here we've got Cyberjaw in his robot mode with the Toy Hack sticker set. And I have to add pretty much right away that Decepticon symbol right here is one that I added from the, the bonus sheets that they give. If I wish to remain consistent, and I do, I think I may just swap that out with this holographic one. I think it might actually do better. In fact, I think. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that while we're talking about it, and before I forget, just because if for no other reason, uh, I, I like the Decepticon symbol there, but I don't really think it matches the way that it's supposed to. So, bear with me just a moment, if you would be so polite and kind, and well, that didn't come off the way that it was supposed to. No, it did not. Hang on a second, folks. I know. Tom, you're wasting our time. What do you do? What do you do? Alright, there we go. Now, Decepticon symbol. Going on right there. Hoping that it is centered. Alright, so... Yeah, actually, I, I like that better. That hollow glow kind of looks underwatery, if that's 
the correct term I don't know but as you can see he's got these silver bits right here right now which kind of break it up a little bit he's got a little bit of detail right here that you might be able to see hopefully uh, he's got these right here which assist I, I, I'm really digging that Decepticon symbol. He's got these right here, these little detailings, those detailings. Uh, he's got these leg pieces right here. You can see right here some. He's got some right here that's going to show up more in robot or in beast mode. And same thing through here on his back. He's got this that's going to show up in robot. Uh, pardon me, beast mode fins right here that show up in beast mode and some more of, of this detailing right here so yeah I guess the next thing to do is to put old Cyberjaw here into his beast mode here we have Cyberjaw in his uh, transformed mode in his beast mode and you can really see some of the sticker details that comes through um, I don't know how well that one's showing up but he does have a sticker here the stuff around his legs up here on his fin, this side, this little detail here and here. He has more right through here. Uh, let's see here. He's got that pretty little gold stuff right up there on the top of his head. Yeah, I, I really like what this set is doing for these guys. It, it's not overpowering. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's not overpowering, but it adds just enough detail, I think, so that it's going to look really good when they're combined. watching my papa's channel please subscribe and like thank you another satisfied customer of vitamin john operators are standing by call now hello there everyone tom here again and today we are starting a look at the TFC uh, TFC Toys Poseidon Noir. And if any of you know anything at all about me, you know that I really like these uh, Noir or the the black recolors of these figures. So I this thing is huge. This box is absolutely massive. Uh, it, it came in a huge shipping container. And I honestly thought that, you know, it was much bigger than, the box was about twice as big as what you see here. But to give you a general idea, the box is coming in at about 22 inches high by about 22 inches wide. It is 6 inches thick. That's the box. <laughs> this thing's huge. Uh... I really love this and I'm looking forward to working with it. Additionally, I am also going to be getting the Toy Hack sticker sets to go with this to see if uh, it needs any. If it doesn't need any, I'm not going to do it. But we'll, we'll talk about that when we get into each of the individual figures. To start with, front of the box, top of the box looks like that, side of the box, you can't really see it. Looks like that. Bottom of the box looks like this. Not that you can really tell. All this work. Side of the box and the back of the box has the, pardon me, individual figures on it as you can see. 
uh, Overbite, Deathclaw, Iron Shell, Manta Razor, Big Bites, and Thousand Kills. I didn't know his name was Big Bites. I think that's right. Anyway, um, tell you what, I'll zoom in here so that you all can get just a closer look at what they look like. And just looking at them in bot mode and whatnot, you can kind of tell, I think, at least from my perspective, why I am I'm getting the um, the figures the the stickers because I think they may be just a bit too plain, but we'll see. I'm actually looking forward to it. I haven't seen anybody else do a review on these, so yeah, here's how this is going to go. Let me be really clear about this. This is not going to be a transformation video. We've all seen these things reviewed a thousand times. There's nothing different. Um, if I run across something different, I'll let you all know. But as far as I can tell, uh, they look exactly the same. They've just been remolded. So I'm going to do uh, just a, a, a review of each figure, again, without transforming it, and we'll see what they look like. Uh, with the stickers, those ones that I do. Now, uh, additionally, if anybody needs to see this stuff, I'll put it at the end of each video, uh, except for the first one, which we're doing right now. So, why don't I go ahead and get the box out so we can take a look at these. Alright, so in the box, we get this big foam insert right here, which has everything, and he's all ready to go into Poseidon mode, uh, combined mode. The only other thing in the box that I've been able to find is this big, huge book. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet, so if there's anything important in it, I'll let you all know. Hopefully, uh, the directions are in here. Let me be clear. I'm going to pull uh, my transformations from uh, MGO and Six, six Shot Changer reviews. I actually liked Six Shots better than MGOs, if that tells you anything. So, we're going to use those, and again, if uh, if I find anything horribly different, I'll let you know. Let's uh, see here, we get Weapon Mode, Combined Leg Mode, uh, yeah, everything here, it just looks like directions on how to do stuff. Okay, so we'll figure it out together. We'll figure it out together. All right, so let me move my light in here. And I'm just going to pull this stuff out. Again, we'll do an individual review of all this stuff later. Here is. Hmm. The lobster head. Okay. Uh, he's already in our mode, so we've got that, I guess. I guess that goes right here, maybe. I don't know. I'll figure this all out here shortly. But, yeah, okay. We've got him. We've got Purple Foot. And it does have the spreading toes and all that other stuff, so that's all good. There's two of them right here. We get Iron Shell. Again, already in combined mode, and I wonder, can you all see the glowing eyes? We'll get into all that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let's see here. Which one is this one? <sighs> big Bite? Yeah, that's Big Bite. So we've got him. Uh... I don't know who the hell this is. Um, we'll figure it out. Here we've got... Ah. That's thousand kills. Okay. Here's another arm. That's got to be Manta Ray. Alright, so for the accessories... Big old bag of parts we'll go into got the gun, We've got those are thousand kills legs, 
Here is a handle for the sword. Another handle for the sword, which would suggest that this must be the sword. The sword, and then the two, the two things that give him ankle tilts. And that is everything that's in the foam insert. All right, so from this point forward, we'll take the figures individually and we'll take a look at them.